self-loathing. In order to complete this trial, you will need to bring a gun with you. Make sure that it is new and loaded with just one bullet. In any city, in any country, go to any funeral home you can get yourself into. Once there, open a casket that is not being viewed by anyone. If it is empty, they know what you are doing and you will join the dearly departed. However, do know that your death will be quick and well respected, a fate many seekers would take. If it is inhabited by a cadaver, quietly demand to see the holder of self-loathing. The body should get up from its eternal slumber, walk away from you, and promptly disappear. Step into the coffin, lie down, close your eyes, and close it. If the holder deems you worthy, you will be taken from the coffin and led into a dark room, labelled Employees only. If no one comes, the coffin will lock and you will slowly asphyxiate. The person guiding you into the room will disappear once you enter the dark room. The room will emanate a feeling of utter depression. The walls are bleak, and although you can see, everything seems dead. The only ornament in the room, a mirror, will show you killing yourself. Try not to look at it. This is your last chance to escape. If you wish to leave, yell at the top of your lungs. I hold dear to life. If they believe you, you will fall unconscious and wake up in your room the day before your quest began, completely oblivious to the objects. You have been given a fresh start at life. Use it well. If, however, you decide to say, I do not fear hopelessness. Your true love will manifest his or herself in front of you. Your true love will tell you a story about all the wonderful things that happened today. It may be the most wonderful story you have ever heard during your quest for the objects. You will feel happy to be where you are. You cannot let these feelings betray you. If you allow them to continue, the holder will deem you unworthy of the objects. Your true love will rip you apart with his or her bare hands. It will be a most painful death. Without any emotion, you must convince your love to kill his or herself. You must tell them how horrible life is, that they are worthless and stupid. You must tell your love how much pleasure his or her death would bring you. You must believe every word you say, for the holder will not tolerate anything else. You will hate yourself, a hate beyond comprehension. But for your sake, do not show it. Eventually, no matter how optimistic your love was before, he or she will accept death. They will show no emotion, as you have drained all of it out of him or her. Your beloved will then ask for something to use to kill his or herself. Produce the gun and hand it over. You must watch carefully as the one you loved takes his or her life in front of you. The sight of it will be burned into your memory for all eternity. The holder will appear, applauding you. He will appear as a very thin man, about ten years older than you, no matter how old you are. He has grey hair, no matter his age. He will be wearing no shirt, and his trousers are torn. If you are female, the same will hold true, 
except that the holder will be female and wearing a slightly torn shirt. After all, even holders have manners. This is you in ten years. You must ask, why do they hate their existence? The holder will explain in detail why everyone throughout history has ever suffered depression. He will tell you what they did to deserve such a state, or what happened to them. He will tell you how they lived and how they died. You will feel an impossible urge to end your life like they did, and the holder will gladly give you whatever you need. Whatever you do, don't give in. If you do, your suffering will not end. You will take the holder's place until someone else chooses your fate. Once the tale is finished, the holder will hand you the gun your beloved used to end his or her life. It will be covered in his or her blood, and it will be loaded with one bullet made of his or her bone. You will fall unconscious and wake up in a hotel closest to where you call home. You have a room on the house. You deserve it, after all. The bullet is object 486 or 538. You have given your love the means to end their suffering. Now we have given you yours.